What's going on, guys? It is Bernardo, and today is all about managing Google Chrome with Intune. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is download the ADMX files for Google. So we need to head to the Google Chrome Enterprise website. I will provide the link for you guys at the bottom, so don't worry about that. From here, we're going to scroll down until we see this section and we're going to click on download ADM or the ADMX templates. So click on that. You're going to get this nice little window and we're going to download the policy templates as well as the update management templates. Now, for the update management templates, make sure you click on the drop down menu and select the ADMX files. Okay. By default, it wants you to download the ADM but make sure you switch it to the ADMX. Download both of these guys. Now, once you download these files, we need to get a copy of the windows.admx file as well as the ADML files. To get this, we're going to open up the Windows File Explorer. I did it within my Windows 10 box. You could do it on Windows 11. It's easy to grab it anywhere. Go into the C drive. Let's go inside the Windows folder. Within here, we're going to go into the Policy Definitions folder. And we're going to scroll down and locate the windows.admx file. Make a copy of this, paste it somewhere because we are going to be needing it. Now we need to also grab the ADML file. So within the policy definitions folder, locate ENUS, English folder. Double click on that and scroll down until you find the windows.admx. ADML file. Make a copy of this and then paste it somewhere because we're going to be needing all the files that we just copied and pasted, as well as the ones that we downloaded within the Google Chrome Enterprise site. Now we're going to open up our Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Once we're here on the left hand side, we're going to click on Show All. Once you click on Show All, we're going to Click on Endpoint Manager and it's going to load this up. On the left hand side, we're going to click on Devices. Underneath where it says Manage Devices, we're going to click on Configuration. Now you have Policies, Import, ADMX, and then Monitor. We're going to click on the Import ADMX because that's what we downloaded and that's what we grabbed within the Policies Definition folders and we need to import it into our Intune portal. So let's click on import ADMX. Once you're here, we're going to click on the button that says import. And the first thing that we need to do is select our ADMX file as well as our ADML file. So click on that little blue icon, which is a folder to browse. And I'm going to select our windows.admx file first. I'm gonna do that first, click on open. I'm gonna select the windows.adml file and then click on next. A nice little review and then click on create. It's gonna start uploading. I'm not gonna show you how to do the rest because it's basically self-explanatory. It's like a rinse and repeat process. Select your Google Chrome template and then all that other stuff. I already did that behind the scenes. This is how it should look in your side. Um, once you're done here, let's head over to policies because it is time for us to create our policy. So click on the button that says create. We're going to do new policy. You're going to get a side menu. Underneath platform, we're going to click on the drop down menu and we're going to select Windows 10 and later. Now, for the profile type, let's click on the drop down menu and let's select templates. Once you select templates, we are going to locate the import administrative templates preview. Once you select that, let's click on create. We need to give it a name. I gave it the following. You are able to give it whatever you want. Once you provide that, let's click on next. Now for the configuration settings, we're going to click on Google, right? Once we click on Google, we need to get into the Google update folder. Within here, let's go inside the applications folder. And within here, we're going to go into the Google Chrome folder. And the one that we need to configure is the update policy override. So select that. Once you select that, you're going to get a side menu and we're going to select enable. By default, it is configured to always allow updates, which is recommended. That is what we want, so click OK. From here, we're going to click on applications. It's gonna take us up a level, and we're going to scroll all the way down, and we're going to click on number three to go to the last page. The reason why is because we want to select and configure update policy override default. Again, it's gonna give you a side menu, 
We're going to enable that. By default, it is configured to always allow updates. Click OK. From here, we're going to click on Next. I typically don't provide any tags, so I just click Next here. For assignments, I'm definitely going to provide a group, so I'm going to click on Add Groups. I'm going to select Autopilot Devices. You are able to pick whatever you want. I'm going to click on Select. Let's click Next here. A nice little review of everything that you've done. And let's click on Create. As soon as you click on Create, on the upper right-hand side is going to say Profile Saved, uh, Saved Successfully. If you give it some time uh, or refresh the page, you should see your new policy. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.